Hello everyone and welcome! In this video we're going to be talking about how turbocharger wastegates work and the two methods used. So we've got internal and external. And you know, wastegates really are just bypass valves so that the exhaust gases can bypass the turbine of the turbocharger and just go straight out of the car. So here we have an internal example and so we're going to start with this. So we have our exhaust portion here, the exhaust turbine, and then we have the inlet portion here with the compressor wheel. And so your air is going to be coming in here creating boost uh, for your car to make more power. So as this exhaust uh, is spinning up and providing more boost, at a certain point that boost is going to reach a certain pressure and that pressure is going to travel through this vacuum line. I call it a vacuum line because under most conditions it's going to be a vacuum, but when you're under boost, of course, it's going to be above that. So let's just say this is a 10 PSI uh, wastegate uh, actuator here. Um, so this is a pneumatic actuator. And so as the pressure in this actuator rises, it pushes up uh, this thing here. So you've got this diaphragm, which is going to push up on a spring. And as that diaphragm pushes up, as you can see, it's going to pivot about this point right here. So it's going to push up, this is going to rotate, and it's going to open up this valve so that the exhaust gases no longer have to travel through the turbine, and instead they can just bypass that directly and head out the exhaust. So it's all dependent on what you set this spring at. So if you set this spring at a stiffer rate, it'll have more boost. If you set it at a lower rate, it'll open up at lower boost pressures, and so you can bypass that turbocharger sooner. Now what are the advantages of doing something like this? Well it's compact, there's less piping, and the exhaust by design has to travel through the catalytic converter and through the muffler, and so this is a great solution for OEM uh, vehicles out there which of course have to do that. Now let's move on to external wastegates. So here we have our example. We've got our engine here with our turbocharger, the inlet side and the exhaust side. So as it pulls in air, uh, you know, you get to a certain point and the only difference really here is that this wastegate uh, is not within the turbo housing. And so that pressure then travels through travels into our pneumatic uh, wastegate which we have here, the pneumatic actuator, and so that presses in the spring, that spring opens up this valve, and so the exhaust gas is coming out of the engine, instead of forcing them to travel through the turbocharger, uh, the exhaust portion in the turbine, they can travel directly through this valve here and bypass that turbocharger. So it's doing the exact same thing, but there's another way of doing it, uh, which is the external method. And you can also, you could just dump this directly into the atmosphere. You don't have to put it right back into the exhaust piping. But the reason you would do something like this with an external uh, wastegate is that you can rejoin the exhaust further down the line. It doesn't have to be right at the turbocharger, and this improves the turbine efficiency, um, so you're gonna get more performance out of it, and it also could be routed directly to the atmosphere, if, for example, for a racing application. So if you didn't wanna route it into here, you don't have to, whereas in this case, it's always gonna be routed into the exhaust, and here you could just have it vent directly to the atmosphere. Also, the benefit of doing a wastegate externally is that you can choose any size you want. You're not restricted by the size of the turbocharger housing in order to make it work. You can do any size you want, and so that gives you a little bit more free play in the design of it. So if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.